Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Erwin Trinkus. I am a junior student at Starshitz High School in Warsaw and a laureate of the English Olympiad. I've been interested in the exact sciences since primary school, particularly maths, IT, and physics, a love sparked primarily by my excellent and supportive teachers. I intend to study computer systems after I finish high school. Apart from science, I also love creative writing, particularly longer stories, as I find short plots far too restricting for my taste. I have begun writing a fantasy novel set in a world of my own creation, inspired primarily by the works of John Ronald Rule Tolkien and Howard Phillips Lovecraft, as well as real world history. I'm interested in history and politics, particularly medieval and 20th century history. The former because the culture of Europe and Asia in that time period serves as the basis for the world building of many fantasy civilizations and the latter because of its great relevance in today's politics. And the greatest questions we are still fighting over to this day are in essence unresolved plots from the last 200 years after all. I really like helping people, particularly when it involves a chance to use my knowledge to make their lives better. Back in primary school, as vice president of the student council, I replaced the defunct in all but name lucky numbers system with a project I dubbed SHIELDS which granted the student the right to evade the normal consequences of failing to do their homework or to dodge a pop quiz twice a semester, something the previous system was intended to do, but failed. The system remains active in my old school to this day. I am the president and founder of my high school's tabletop gaming club, which has been meeting online once a week since 2019. We spend most of our time playing and discussing D&D and Warhammer. My observations during gameplay were what inspired me to create my own optimization blog in an attempt to try and spread more accurate information about the games I play, supported by solid evidence. The website has gained a modicum of popularity, and I'm very pleased with its success. I also provide extracurricular Python programming classes for students from my old primary school, where I teach them the basics of the language focused mainly around mathematical operations and the turtle module, all the tools required to give them a fighting chance in Logia, a prestigious IT competition for primary school students. For me, this scholarship represents a chance to visit the beating heart of Latin civilization and the most renowned locations in the world of computer science. Furthermore, it is an opportunity to interact with the culture of a major world superpower and hopefully make new acquaintances across the ocean. I'm considering studying abroad, so the opportunity to see Stanford University for myself is a major asset that will enable me to make a more informed decision. The university is without a doubt the most interesting aspect of this scholarship for me. It has a long list of renowned alumni, including the current richest man on earth, and consistently ranks in the top 10 academies worldwide according to such reputable sources as QS and the academic ranking of world universities. To enter through its doors and to witness the place where genius is cultivated to such a degree is an experience beyond compare. Moreover, I would like to see the many differences between American and Polish universities. Due to the way their dorm system works, student life tends to be a lot more centered around the university grounds in the US, which leads to the formation of unique school traditions. This is something I have never seen nor heard of in Poland, where students generally lead ordinary adult lives and spend most of their time outside campus. As someone interested in IT, I view the myriad companies in Silicon Valley as potential future workplaces and would benefit greatly from the opportunity to visit them that this scholarship provides. Thank you. Okay, uh, Erwin, thank you very much. And now uh, to Ms. Dorota, uh, Q&A session. My favorite question for today, uh, what have you learned about yourself during this uh, process of preparation? What have you learned about yourself? The most I've learned about myself would most likely be how similar I am to my idol, Alan Turing. Like him, I am a child prodigy, if I may be so bold. Okay. And I am very interested in mathematics and IT, 
although he's definitely better than any of those. He invented the, the first computer after all. Uh, furthermore, I learned how important it is to never give up on your ambitions and your dreams and to follow your goals whenever possible. After all, Turing began his greatest uh, work when he was uh, a university student and he developed it until it became as great as it is now, until he became as renowned as he is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have a second question. Uh, if I may. Uh, so uh, what is your main driver, your main motivation to take a part in this adventure? I would like to interact with the culture of the United States. I speak English fluently. It's practically my first language, even more so than Polish. I've been speaking it since as far as long as I remember, really. I, I've been speaking English before I learned Polish even. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see uh, how I can fare in a conversation with native speakers. Additionally, Stanford is a school renowned for ambitious students, figures who have gone down in history as leaders. As someone interested in politics, which is pretty much the art of leading and shaping the world in a way that matches our dreams, it's definitely something that I would like to look into. Furthermore, the university is also famous for being the place where the Stanford prison experiment was uh, conducted. And that was one of my favorite history lessons. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Erwin. Uh, Mr. Michal? Yes, Erwin. You are, you are writing about the Alan Turing. Nice essay. Thank you very much. But who from the Polish scientists or mathematicians is the inspiration for you? Do you have any Polish one who is the inspiration? For your knowledge I greatly, and learning? I greatly respect uh, Stefan Banach, uh, for, uh, mainly for the idea that uh, I'm most familiar with that he came up with, uh, or at least he participated in it. Uh, when the Nazis were occupying uh, Poland, uh, he was one of the people who managed to evade a certain death by uh, feeding fleas for research uh, into a cure against the typhus. So he sacrificed a bit of his health to science and uh, also saved his life in uh, doing so. So he's an example of someone who uh, killed two birds with one stone and did something great. Yes, very good knowledge. Very good knowledge about the Stefan Banner from Revolve. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Erwin, you are a strong, uh, um, you are of a strong opinion that uh, you wanted to study abroad. So why not in Poland? What uh, are the Polish universities or academies missing comparing to, let's say, American ones? Uh, I wouldn't say they're missing anything uh, much in the field of uh, academics uh, because we have great uh, academies in Poland. However, I really find myself fascinated by the American dorm system that I mentioned and the way it brings people together. The kind of uh, structure that it has in this regard is something that I would greatly uh, enjoy participating in. Okay, thank you. Um, describe last conflict you have experienced and how did you manage that? Uh, what definition are we using for conflict? Uh, between your team members, colleagues, this kind of conflict. Hmm. I don't recall experiencing a conflict recently. I tend to agree with people. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot recall um, experience where I struggled with my friends. Okay, and uh, different opinions? How you, how you manage different opinion situation? Oh, uh, as far as uh, different opinions go, I enjoy participating in debates at school whenever they happen. Uh, for example, we have uh, debates every now and then in English class and uh, back in my first year, uh, we took, uh, I took part in a few uh, for philosophy. It was uh, interesting to research our views so that we could present more informed uh, arguments and then it was a clash of facts more than opinions. Okay, thank you very much. And now it's time for quick feedback. Uh, Ms. Dorota, over to you. Uh, Erwin, I'm uh, amazed uh, with your knowledge, ambition, and the way how you communicate very openly and, first of all, energetically. 
your energy is very visible and i think this is a benefit and a great value you are bringing here uh, and you will bring to other people uh, your passion is visible so i cross my fingers for for your future thank you thank you very much uh, i think it's the same i think in the same but i know that in, in the life it's very important the luck in the beginning of this of this speech you didn't have luck so i wish you luck for your future <laughs> And the luck, together with your knowledge, they will be the full success, I, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear it. Yeah, I also glad to, uh, I also like your presentation. Uh, one thing which I'm not sure, uh, I, I had an impression, maybe wrong, but that, that you kind of kind of was reading your presentation. Maybe this is only me, but um, uh, if you put a little bit more you know, breaks in your speech and put a little bit more li life to it, rather than the flow of words, it would be, at least for me, a little bit better. But other, I other, otherwise, uh, I like your presentation. Thank you. It's a common issue that I experienced uh, previously in the English Olympiad as well. I speak quite fast when I'm under stress, and, well, these kinds of conversations are always stressful for me, at least to some degree. Yes, but you, 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 you did well, so thank you very much. Very Dziękujemy well. bardzo. Thank you very much. E, wyniki zostaną przesłane do, do Ciebie jutro. Bardzo dziękujemy. Dziękuję. Pozdrawiamy, Erwin. Dziękuję. Do widzenia, miłego dnia. Do widzenia, do widzenia. Do widzenia.